Now come to the next point. Relation between self inductance and and mutual inductance. Relation between self inductance and mutual inductance. Let we are having two coils the self inductance the self inductance of each coil is each coil is L1 and L2, L1 and L2 and mutual inductance between them is mutual inductance between them is M as shown in diagram as shown in diagram like this let this is your one of the coil and this is your another coil and L1 and L2 are their self inductance and capital M is your mutual inductance so this coil can be said as a coil number one. This coil can be said as a let coil number two. Now let if I one is the current in coil one, then self flux through the coil one will be written as. then self flux through coil 1 is written as phi 1 which is equal to your L into L1 into I1. The let first equation and mutual flux through coil 2 is written as phi 2 flux on 2 due to current in 1 that is your m into i1 second as we know all the lines of magnetic lines of forces which are passing from the coil 1 need not to pass from the coil 2. Maximum it is possibility all can be equal means same number of lines passing from 1 and 2 are same. The maximum these two flux will be your equal. The moreover mutual flux is always less than the self flux. So we can write as phi 2 1 is written as k into phi 1 where third equation where k value maximum value it can be 1 and minimum value it can be 0. Similarly, so these are the our relation here we can get. Similarly, if I2 is the current in coil 2 in coil 2 then self flux through coil 2 then self flux through 
through coil 2 is written as phi 2 is equal to your L2 into I2 fourth equation and and mutual flux through coil 1 through coil 1 is written as flux in the coil 1 due to current in the coil 2 which is equal to your m into i2 in the same way here also mutual flux cannot be more than the self flux phi 2 1 is always equal to k into phi 2 where k value here also between 0 to 1 k is here any constant that we will tell you later on now from equation 3 and 6 from equation 3 and 6 phi 2 1 into phi 1 2 phi 2 1 into phi 1 2 is equal to your k square phi 1 into phi 2 now I am substituting the value phi 2 1 m into i 1 phi 1 2 m into i 2 m into i 1 m into i 2 k square phi 1 l 1 i 1 l 2 i 2 so this gives us m square is equal to k square l1 l2 m is equal to k times l1 into l2 where k is called here where k value you are always lie between 0 to 1 and k called k is known as coefficient of coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling so this is the relation between magnetic this is the relation between the mutual inductance m versus self inductance l1 l2 and what is the meaning of coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling means say, how these coils has been coupled or how this coil has been kept let the first see this one then see the how the value of k changes so mutual inductance m is given as k root over l1 into l2 m is the mutual inductance that depends on self inductance l1 and l2 k is the coefficient of coupling so see the meaning of k value here see let for example one of the coil is like this and another coil is this so what will happen here when current is passing through any of the coil so if current is suppose here then the magnetic lines of forces will go in this manner these lines of forces will not go so these lines of forces will never pass through the second coil so k value is here here 0 there is no mutual inductance here the so m is equal to 0 in this case so this is the one of the possibility in which coefficient of coupling value will be your 0 now in the second case second case here let one of the coil is here like this and another coil is your coupled with this so whatever the flux through one of the coil same number of lines will pass through the another coil the k is equal to 1 it means when all of the self flux of one of the coil is associated with the another coil so k is equal to 1 
so m is written as root over l1 l2 and now this is we can say the here value of k will be your 1 and in normal case normal means most of the time and in the normal condition normal condition just like we can say here or we can say if we are looking at one of the coil like this another is here if current is passing through any one of the that current is here then the lines of forces will go like this in this manner so here all the lines of forces all the lines of forces will is not passing through the second coil some of the lines of forces will come out without passing through the second coil the here value of k is your less than 1 but it is your greater than 0 so this is the third case so likewise we can say 1 2 and 3 condition it means uh, coefficient of coupling means how the two coils has been coupled so like in that way we can determine the relation for m versus self inductance L1 L2 so this is the general idea about mutual inductance